Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, first things first, I'm gonna say that I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading like normal. I've only put one video up this week and it's because I've been sick and my daughter's been sick and I had to check her out. She had to spend a day at home and blah, 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 yeah. Just, you know, how going back to school, spreading of germs, blah, 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 blah. And also, I haven't done a favorites video in forever, so I feel like I have a lot of products here. And I'm going to try and not jibber-jabber throughout the entire video. That way, it's not forever. And you guys aren't sitting here a million years. But, yeah, I've tried a lot of different products the past few months, and I want to share them with you. So, if you want to see my favorites, then just keep on watching the video. All right, so in no particular order, I'm just going to grab the steps right here. By the way, so if you could see my desk... <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, well, girl, you need to clean that. <laughs> so we'll just start off with eyeshadows. These two bad boys I have been loving so much. I've been using the heck out of them. I know you guys have uh, seen me use them in my videos. And these are, or this is the Lorac Pro Matte. It's like a tiny little palette, I guess you could say. And yes, I love all of these shades. They're perfect for blending. And I feel like if you're like a beginner at makeup and you want to dive into like high-end makeup, I think this would be a great palette for you. All of these shades are so beautiful for deepening and you could like mix the colors and uh, create the perfect matte smoky eye, especially if you're a matte person, you'll love this thing. And yeah, I've been killing it this month. The same for the Law Pro Metal. If you're into metals, shimmery shadows, these are Gorgina. They're smooth. They are just pigmented as heck. The quality of Lorac Pro shadows, you know, they're awesome. And I just, yeah, I've been loving these palettes and I really want to do a look with this one because of this really pretty cobalt color. Yeah, and I haven't done a blue eyeshadow look on my channel before and I've just been dying to play with some blues. Would you guys like to see that? I know that's not a normal, like, typical type of color, but anyways, loving those palettes. And for hair, I haven't found a good hair product in a long time and I absolutely love this. I initially bought this from my daughter where she got her hair cut and I was just asking them if they had a um, detangler because my hair's, or my hair's, my daughter's hair gets tangly easily and this is Kurt Kurt Active Blonde by Paul Mitchell and it's the Forever Blonde Dramatic Repair. I know that she doesn't have blonde hair or anything like that but it's a, a damage recovery kind of a product and this it smells really good and it detangles perfectly and I also use this in my hair because my hair is pretty damaged you guys know I went blonde and I can just never make up my mind with my hair my hair is suffering from it but yes this works great and it works for your kids so if you're looking for like a detangler I would totally try this and I think this was only $12 and I expected it to be more and I'm not sure if you can find this at like Walmart or Target because I bought mine at Supercuts or something like that and yeah I've just it's almost gone now and I just bought it not too long ago this has been working great and next product I have been using this almost every single day I'm not sure if you're supposed to use this every day but I have <laughs> I'll double this with my face wash and what this is is the soaping glory scrub your nose in it two-minute t-zone detox scrub with natural super fruit yuzu this has a gritty like sand pipe sand paper like texture and I massage it into my nose hardcore I'm not sure about you guys but I get really bad blackheads on my nose and this helps so much by declogging them and I'll just massage and I'll literally spend like I, I don't know about two minutes but definitely a minute and 30 seconds massaging this into my nose into my chin into my forehead just really getting into to those spots that I have really bad like blackheads or whatever and this has like a tingling sensation too and then when you wash it off your nose just feels exfoliated and you won't see as many bumps it just won't be as congested with blackheads or whatever you have on your nose I've really been enjoying this and I think you should try it if you're in the market for some kind of scrub and next products are these foundations, which I'm actually wearing this duo on my face right now. I've been using darker foundations just because how dark my body has gotten this summer. And these two shades have been working really good for me. It, it's a little bit orangish whenever you first put it on your face, but once I highlight and everything, it sets and it, it looks really nice. 
works and it matches my skin perfectly. And these are the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Mattes. And it's true to that, it makes my face look matte and it lasts a really long time. And the shades that I mix are 108 and 109 together to make my perfect shade. And yes, I've been killing these, killing them, killing them. And for bronzing and highlighting, I have been loving this uh, Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. It looks like this and it says that it's waterproof and the texture of this is like a cream but it's the perfect brown color and it blends beautifully with this brush the Sedona Lace 602 brush oh it looks so beautiful this brush just fits perfectly in that area and it just it's uh, a synthetic brush I'm pretty sure yeah and it's dense so it gets in there nicely and it just blends really 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 nicely and it's waterproof this lasts me all day there's no need to set it but I mean I always do but once I set it uh, girl it's on there all day long it's fabulous and for uh, highlighting I've been so into highlighting lady lately I mean not much of the whole strobing thing because I'm already oily and I look like I'm so oily when I do that but um, the Becca highlighter of course I think I'm the last one to mention this in their favorites but I love this highlighter so 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 much it is such a beautiful color it just looks amazing on my tan skin I know what you're thinking that's probably, uh, it looks like it would be ashy on the cheeks, but I just remember I used my finger. With my fan brush, which I get from Sedona Lace, it's the FB01, dust it like this and put it on your cheekbones. It's absolutely stunning, and I've seen this on lighter shades, and it looks beautiful on lighter shades. I just feel like this is just the perfect color for everyone, and yes, it's such a great color, and this was the uh, Champagne Pop with Jaclyn Hill. I love her. She's amazing, so any way that I can support her, I will, and besides that the color is literally perfection I love it and since we're talking about highlighters ColourPop came out with uh, their uh, strobing kit I'm pretty sure it is and this is one of the colors that is in it and I love this this one is in parasol I use this for like those no makeup makeup days you see that's gorgeous and it's just like their eyeshadows it's that creamy finish and this looks so stunning on your cheekbones with your fingertips and in the inner corner of your eyes and on the bridge of your nose for that no makeup makeup look if you're like running uh real quickly you just quickly go and bam boom honey you look like you're glowing goddess like wow you woke up like that mm -hmm. it's wonderful and i'm pretty sure these are like super affordable and yeah, I actually appreciate the fact that it's like that creamy color pop texture, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and since we're on the color pop train, I have absolutely loved the uh, color pop ultra matte lips. I swear that's all I've been wearing lately since uh, they sent me a bunch of their colors. And um, these two colors are my absolute favorite at the moment. And I'm talking about Bumble. Oh, Bumble is so beautiful. And I feel like this would look good on everyone. Can we just, oh my gosh, that shade is so beautiful. And it dries beautifully. These can be like a little bit super drying, but I'm gonna share another product with you that like really helps with that. And the color Beeper. These two have been my uh, HG lately. And when I wear them, a ton of you always ask me what color it is. But yes, aren't those two colors so gorgeous? I love them. Absolutely love them and these are only six dollars if I'm not mistaken and I'm sure you could find a discount code uh, For these and yes, oh, I just love them mm. And since I said that these were drying if you put the Murad rapid collagen infusion for lips I feel like I've mentioned this product so many times in my videos But it works so well underneath liquid lipsticks and this basically just smooths over your cracks on your lips and deep fine lines that you may have which I have hardcore on my lips because they're large and in charge <laughs> but applying this and then putting the liquid lipstick on top of it once it dries it makes such a huge difference it's not like your fine lines disappear or anything like that it's just it looks better than uh, if you didn't use this so I would totally give this a try if you're into liquid lipsticks and you wear them all the time I feel like you would find or see a difference if you tried that and next product is for my brows since I went darker I've been using different brow products it's been the salon perfect brow pomade you guys know I've been obsessed with that lately but the dark brown is just as good the colors perfect for you brunettes or um, 
a lighter brown hair color like myself. I love this stuff so much. It lasts forever. The brush that it comes with is a dream, like it works perfectly. And with this, I use the L'Oreal Paris Brow Stylus Plumper. And this one is in medium to dark, and it's the perfect combination. I love these brushes. I used to use the medium brown one or the light brown one, and it worked perfect for when my hair was lighter. These, This product, I reach for more than my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, is that what it's even called <laughs> yes I use it more than the brow gel brow is I love this thing so much and yes these two together are awesome and they're both drugstore and this pomade is so 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 affordable and since we're talking about salon perfect the lashes that I've been killing lately are the number 614 number 614 and 615 from salon perfect are my favorite lashes right now I haven't used anything else recently and yeah they're affordable they are so lightweight the band is really uh, thin and if you have smaller eyes like myself and that's perfect because I feel like the thicker ones like the uh, these lashes the house of lashes and iconic I love these lashes right but they swallow my eye like it's where's your eye Melissa you can literally not see it but these lashes look so beautiful on everyone else I wish I could wear them but yeah those lashes have been Bombski. And for uh, bronze, again, this Maybelline Dream Bronze BB 8-in-1 Beauty Balm. Now, I'm not sure how you're supposed to use this. I'm sure you're supposed to put it all over your face for a bronzing effect or whatever. Or you could even mix it in with your foundation. That'd be a great idea. But what I do with this is I put it on the back of my hand. And again, I use that same Sedona Lace brush, this one, and I use it as my bronzer, and it is absolutely beautiful. I don't remember which video that I did it in, but a ton of you loved it, and you were complimenting me, saying how beautiful it looked on my skin, but yes, that is what I was using with this, and this one is in the shade Medium Deep Bronze, and it is Gorge. And one last thing, ha, huh, I feel like I was talking so fast in this video, is this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Airbrush Silk Press Finishing Powder. This stuff is magical for no makeup makeup days. If you are a girl who never wears makeup but you are a powder kind of girl, I feel like you would love this. It's translucent. You just dust it all over your face. It makes your face look smooth and poreless and just... Ah, like you just woke up and your face just looks perfect <laughs> and what I'll do is I'll put this out or put this all over my face and then I'll bronze my face up and then bam boom my skin looks flawless I absolutely love this stuff but whoo I got through that quickly yeah girl <laughs> I filmed another look earlier today so I'm hoping that it came out We'll see. So expect that video on Sunday. I think, yes, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to edit this video right now today. Today is Friday. And yes, that is my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you guys back here. And please let me know what your favorites were for the month. I love, love, love having your suggestions on buying things because you guys have some good ones. And yeah, I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend and I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.